Let's write some codes to upload files in Nest.js application. I will start by creating a new Nest.js project using the Nest CLI. And the command is Nest new the project name. So on the terminal I'm going to say Nest new. Let me call this my Nest app. Yes, use npm and wait for the installation to complete. Under the hood Nest.js makes use of multi package for file uploads. So let me go into the project, my Nest app, and open that in VS Code. The first thing I want to do is to import and configure the multi module. So I'll go to app.module.ts and import multi module. And we can optionally configure, have some default configurations. For example, destination of the uploaded file. These configurations can be overridden at the place, uh, for example, the controller method where you want to accept the file upload. Uh, let me have a constant for this. I'm going to have constant, constant dot ts. I will export a global constant, export const. Let me call this file. Uh, in caps, file upload directory. Just leave it like that. I can just use join. Um, so process dot current working directory, which is equivalent to my my root in this case. So I want all the uploads by default to go to a folder named files that is inside SRC. So SRC and files. To enable auto formatting of files when I save it, let me add this VS Code option. So this uh, VS Code for auto formatting of the file on save. I'll go back here and save this file. Then in the app module configuration for multi module. I'm going to use file upload directory. Another thing we can set here is, uh, for example, limit for the uploaded file. We can say file size and we can limit the file size. These are just default settings. You can override a specific um, route handlers. So, for example, these are in bytes. So, I'm going to set, uh, let's say, 10 megabytes by default. That's just my maximum. And that's basically what I want to um, configure here for motor module. Next, let me go to controller and have a route handler here for file upload. This is going to be a post request. So we say post. And for the endpoint, let's have upload there. Upload. Then the method name can be, uh, I can call it upload, whatever I want to call it. In Next.js, we can make use of built-in interceptors to intercept the incoming file. And the way we use that, we do that is to say use interceptors. But which one in particular? We say file at file interceptor. Actually, there's no at here. Here, the first argument is the, the field, the name of that file in the payload, in the incoming payload. So it can be avatar, it can be image, whatever you call it in the, for example, HTML form that is submitted to send over the request. And in the second argument, we can override um, the options we configured here in app module. So for example, you can see we have that destination here. And we have something like uh, limits as well, like we did, we had uh, at app module. But let's do something else aside those those two. What you can configure here are all available in the mortar documentation. For example, we can set a file name. We can intercept the incoming uh, request, grab the file name, and maybe add a unique suffix to it or something like that. Let's give the file name thing a try using the storage option. So I'm going to say storage and disk 
disk storage this should come from Malta let me check in the documentation I think the type hinting is not working because we did not add the type definition for Malta so let me go ahead and install that npm install um, types Malta I will go back now and try to see if this will work now we get it working here we can pass a function that we intercept the the request and the file and modify it i'm going to create that function in a moment let's call the function file name file name editor like before we can as well specify destination for for the file already have a dedicated folder here so we can if you have something different you can overwrite you can specify it here in a similar way we can also overwrite the limit let's say that in this case we want different uh, file size limit so you can set it here as well and let's say 1000 bytes times in kilobytes times uh, let's say 1 MB maximum I'll save this one more thing I would like to add is kind of validation for to filter the file, the type of file this endpoint can accept. For example, if this is going to be an image file, you want to make sure that the, the file extension at least is of image type. Like the file name, we are going to have a function that does that. So let me call this image filter um, or image file filter now go ahead and create these functions in a different file let me call that file utils utils.ts you can create it wherever you want to export const this get back to that in a moment and this other guy export if we take a look here this function um, it takes the parameters come on the request and the file and a callback the same thing with this file filter it takes the request and a file and callback so let me make sure to import this first import this guy and import this guy so i'll go into this one we have request which is of type request and this is from express as for the file let's let me permit me to use any here and then we have callback callback function i'm going to copy this for the second guy paste it here so here you can change the file name to whatever you want it to be let's say new file name to be equal to for me i'm not going to bother myself with changing this i'm going to say file dot original original name and i will just return not return please this makes use of callback callback there's no error and new file name it's just going to be the the same file name as before then for uh, the filter or uh, just to show that this thing works let me have uh, whatever plus concatenate not addition the original file name one more thing I need to change here is instead of having callback to be of type any this callback actually takes um, error if there is an error but any error and the new file name so let's call this file file name and it returns nothing so typescript is happy then for this callback here it's going to be error error any and a boolean whether or not the validation passes the filter is okay 
so this is going to be a boolean and nothing in this filter i want to check if the file matches the expected type so i'm going to say if not file dot original file name or not file dot um, original file name dot mash using this regex I uh, think it should be outside like this. So if there's no match, I'm going to return callback. The first argument here should be the error, new bad request exception. And I'm going to say that file must be of type the those required type. And it, this takes a second argument to tell whether this is valid or not i'm going to say false otherwise i'm going to say callback um no no error and true what just happened what okay i think i am inside the if statement this should be outside here back to the app controller method so far what we have done is to intercept the file and do some manipulation but we can do other stuff for example we can get the information about the uploaded file to do this we can use the at uploaded file like this if there is a if it's multiple files you can use the plural form of it but i'm going to upload one file and we can call this file and it's of type express from express dot motor dot file in addition to that let's assume that um, this route aside files there are other fields in the payload in the incoming payload so you can do the normal thing you are used to doing at at body to grab the request body this is going to be um, um, form data type and you can have a DTO for this Let's say create um, file DTO or upload file DTO, whatever. Now I'm going to create this in a, let me just quickly add this here, have a DTO. And inside I'm going to have create file.dto.ts and export class create file DTO. Here you can do normal things like validation. Let's um, add this for validation. I'm going to copy this and in the terminal I'm going to add those packages for validation and over here in the code let's say there is another field called description description and it is optional of type string and normal stuff like is optional is string and I'll go back here to make sure to import that file. Um, down here you can do what, whatever you want to do with this information. For example, save it to database or something like that. But I don't have any use for all that. What I'm going to do is to, let me return the file name. This is going to file.file name. And perhaps the, the size, file.file size. And I'll just return that DTO, whatever that is inside there. This should be ready for testing. So let me go to the terminal and start the application. NPM run start dev. And I'll go to Postman. Wait for that to start. I'll go to Postman and this is the endpoint we want to call. Already have this defined. Localhost 3000 slash upload and it's a post request. This is the optional description field and the key here, um, the field here should match what we have in the controller, what you named here. All right. So for the five field, I'm going to select a five from my local machine. Let me select this beautiful city and description, let's say a, be a beautiful city. What the heck was that? A beautiful city 
I didn't get a spelling, but I'm just gonna leave that like that. And I'll send the request. You can see we get the response. And if I go here, uh, by the way, what happens is that according to the definition for the destination we have here, Next.js is going to automatically create that. If I go here, we have src slash files as the folder. And if you come here, you're going to see that we have that src slash um, files. And this file, you can see that it has the whatever prefix we added for, for the file name. Over here, we say whatever and then the file name. So this filter uh, file name editor works. Another thing we need to test here is, uh, of course, we can see that the destination is the specified destination, so we don't need to test that again. The next thing we can test is the uh, file size. This is equivalent to one megabyte in SI unit, so this is one MB. Let's try to upload a file that is above one megabyte and see what happens. So I'll go over here. I'm going to change this file to something else. I will select Lexus car. 1.2 megabyte and when i try to upload that you see that we get the validation error saying that the file limit should not exceed the specified limit um let's try something else this time i'm going to try to test the default validation i'm going to come back to file filter in a moment we say that we can override at the at the route handler like this but here we have default that is set. This is 10 MB as the limit. That means this Lexus that is 1.2 MB can pass now. You see, that passes. But if I change this to, let's say, um, half of 1 MB like that, which is even less than 1 MB, it's not going to pass again. I will send the request again. Uh, what the heck? Should not pass. So I know why this did not pass. I have a typo here. This should be file size, not field size. My bad. All right, let's give this a try again. And you can see that the default validation kicks in. And if I return it back to the 10 NB and send again, this time it should go through because 1.2 NB is less than 10 MB. I know you know that. I'm going to undo this and we do another test. This time for the file filter, we want it to be image type. So I will go back here. We've seen the cases where I'm going to revert this to leave it like that. We are not testing the size again. So what I will do now is to try to upload a file that doesn't match the, the file meme type. That we specified. This is a file named whatever.sql. I will try to upload that. We get the custom validation that says file must be of these types. All right, guys. So this is a this is just an example of the different ways you can configure the file upload and how you can upload files in Next.js application. I hope this makes sense. Until next time, enjoy coding.